building something from scratch. This is how I learned OpenForm, like the basics of OpenForm, where I had block mesh and I built everything by writing down the points and then connecting them and then you had a block mesh at the end. Do you think it makes sense as a beginner? Um, well, starting with block mesh, I think it's not necessary. <laughs> okay. um, block mesh is, is good to, if you want to really understand a bit more because you also have to, to get the correct orientations of the blocks. Yes and how the, the orientation of the mesh, that the, the surface normal is always pointing outwards the cell. You, you get a, a feeling about that when, when you use a block mesh, but I think it's not ne necessary to, to use block mesh at the beginning. Um, and and <laughs> you, you know it too, so I started also with block mesh. And if you have 10 blocks or something like that, um, it's getting really crazy. You're putting all these points, so what I made, I, I made piece of paper yes <laughs> and I, I i put the points there and i wrote the coordinates and then i put it back into the block mesh stick so it was sometimes really a pain in the end yeah that's what i also did this is super annoying like i was sitting there like for one hour and then the orientation was wrong and then I, you can look in power view how the block mesh looks like and then yes. it looked it was completely distorted and i was like ah not again and then you have to start from scratch it was yeah. yes and you, you're thinking which which face is it <laughs> exactly <laughs> So yes. you know, but you would would you would you uh, recommend starting with maybe snappy hex mesh because there is a big documentation around snappy hex mesh and it's may, way more convenient. As, so and from 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 my case, so I'm always using a snappy hex mesh still now. Um, it has a huge um, yeah. Let's say it in other words. So you can use snappy hex mesh very very easily. So. When you look at my tutorials, I explain it really in, in more detail, but actually you put in your STL file, you define your patch names and you say you want to refine it there, just give it a shot. Mm -hmm. And so probably in most cases it runs if you have a, a good STL file or good preparation. And if you are going on, Snappy X Mesh allows you to manipulate your mesh in, in a variety of different methods. So surface refinement, region refinement, edge refinement. You can introduce whatever you want. Yes. So Snappy X Mesh is really powerful, in my opinion. The only thing is that the layer generation, the algorithm is not the best one because you, you put your layers on top. So if this is surface, this is the internal mesh here. You put the layers on top, so outside, and then you push it inside. So the internal mesh gets distorted and squeezed. And that's the reason why um, the layer generation is, is really a problematic thing here.